Hi there, and thank you for clicking on my video. Uh, this video is going to be pretty short and sweet. It's just to show that uh, a mechanic <clears throat> that was is supposed to not be in the game uh, is still in the game in a s specific form. There used to be something a while ago with like corrosive where you could full strip an enemy. Um, and because of the way the math is touted, as being completely multiplicative, you're not able to uh, full strip between your Warframe and your weapon. Uh, but that appears to not be the case. Uh, I've been testing, like, personally, like, I'm trying to come up with, like, a raw damage build uh, that can do level cap. So I was messing around with, like, uh, like really, really high levels of armor strip where it does not go over a hundred percent on the frame and then combining it with uh corrosive and heat armor shred um, this is not a build this is just testing and experimenting um 337 power strength hildren uh nothing exciting this is you know in the age of 400 percent power strength hildren's running around for single cast pillage it just basically came down to tweaking numbers. 400% um, power strength, if you have no other buffs, is what you need to be able to full strip with one cast of pillage. Corrosive projection brings that requirement down since the aura, the armor removal, and the cast from pillage uh, are additive. So if you hit 100% between the two of them, um, you will completely strip right um and just messing around trying to hit specific ratios and everything uh like in the in today's day and age getting 400 percent power strength it definitely requires you to do like sacrifices but you're not having to like incorporate like ket gun arcanes and like like auras and whatnot you can do it with like uh like augmented strength right the the arcane or arcane augmented for the uh, added strength make it significantly easier you're not required to run like uh like you know an arcane right uh on your kit gun so messing around with it and i got down to a pretty low amount this build has like 99.967 percent armor strip like it's a really high percentage this is not a build that's like oh like level cap worthy or anything but like just a testing build just messing around so the math is pretty simple on this. Um, it's 300 over 300 plus the enemy's armor. So we're going to see how much uh, armor strip we have. Exogogstad is 1,000. We can go to the wiki real quick. I'm just going to check it. 190 has 21,000. 389.49 armor. We are well over 99.9% uh, armor strip. But the reason why I was using Hildren in terms of like a fine tuning a specific uh, armor strip amount is because of her scaling. Because she requires 400% power strength. If you're trying to hit a really, really specific armor strip tar point, right? You have four times the control over... Not even four times. It's less than four times. But, like, say, Nyx, right? Where it's a really low power strength. Or Ash, where you just need, like, an Umbral Intensify. You can pick what armor value way easier with Heldron. You have four times the control because it's 400% power strength. So it's just stacking a ton of power strength and then tweaking. If you see, I even got a uh, partially ranked coaction drift to increase the corrosive projections effectiveness by 15% because I was trying to hit like a specific target. And if I ranked coaction drift up to three, it full stripped. So I was like, okay, fine. You know, I'm not going to get any more accurate than that. So just to do the math real quick, 400% corrosive projection is 3 plus 15% for coaction drift uh, is 3.45. You notice if you go over 
0.5 at rounds, and that's full, uh, full strip. So I think I got it about as clean as I can. Uh, we'll multiply it by 4, and remember this number for later. Um, so we have 337. We'll add up our, you know, standard strength mods, and then we'll add in energy conversion, which is another 50. And 13.8. Sorry, three, so 387, three plus, what is it, 5%? 7.5. 325 times four, okay. So 387 plus our scaled uh, equivalent cost that corrosive projection and the ore saves us plus 12.9 that's pretty close now you divide it by four to give us the total armor strut so 99.975 or whatever that is and then we have the corrosive and the heat on the element which reduced by another 90 so just multiply it by 10. So this, or add another zero, so it'd go over the other way. So 99.9975 armor strip. So give or take, but it actually was something I was also working on because uh, somebody asked a question about an Ignis Wraith. And I was trying to show, like show the mechanic where you could easily see the gap between when something has armor and when something doesn't. And where the, the corrosive will drop off and the viral will pick up. Obviously, those of you that have done level caps know that if you're doing a level cap and you're trying to kill demos, viral is the way to go if you're looking for an element, especially because there's the prime equivalent. So really basic testing synapse. Um, heat, viral, corrosive really really even distribution um, and when it bridges the gap between uh, having armor and not having armor there's almost no loss in, um, in in bonus if you will and it's actually stronger right between right before the corrosive drop so I was actually in the process of trying to back the strip up a little bit so it wasn't quite so strong but at least find out where the uh, the balance is because right now with the level of strip, if this was actually a build, which it is not, but if it was actually a build, it would bring a level cap exo down to like 400 armor, where normally it's running around, hold on, I will do the math real quick, okay, 9999, that's 400,000, 94, Nine four zero, and it was minus ninety nine point nine seven five percent. Brings it down to a hundred, um, and I don't think I think there was another nine in there. Whatever. So it's either a hundred and hundred or ten, and then you have like any other armor multipliers where it's like toward the correct uh damage or cor the correct weakness so that's why I split viral and corrosive is so there's no fall off so I can just shoot freely but it was pretty interesting because this actually rounds all the way down until there's no armor I think I missed a nine so let me show you exactly what it is there was a little cut out at the beginning I don't know I'm trying I'm trying to do a little bit of editing not a lot of editing but just so what we need to do is we need to prime, get our energy conversion up. And this is what's not supposed to happen. So the question was earlier, um, what is the lowest amount of armor strip that is available? And I got a lot of 99% armor strip. That is not true. It goes all the way down until the armor, right, the armor value is 1%. So, okay, so this guy is well over 99% stripped already. And we're going to shoot. 
And just like that, he loses his armor. Now, if we have heat stacked up and we keep corrosive above seven. I lost it. Okay. With heat stacked up and it's full strip and we keep corrosive above seven. This guy won't have any have any armor. And you can see it toggling back and forth. It's going to go down six, seven. Six, seven. Because that's where it rounds down to zero. All the way from... Let me see what it was again. All the way from 21,389 armor down to zero because of the damage reduction that's on this. So as a tool, this video is basically for two things. To show you what the tool is. Um, and that full armor strip from abilities, though this is incredibly niche... But with a uh, strength arcane and maybe a little bit of fancy foot footwork with like Vazarin or like uh, the dash that gives you strength, you could actually probably incorporate this pretty easily into a build and, you know, have the ability to toggle. But to be honest, if you're doing something like that, it's probably just easier to mod for viral and just full strip permanently. Because the other thing is that the armor comes back. And just to show proof... I have, what do I have? All right, 84% drain. So for every five shields that we get back, um, we will get four. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me do it again. I can probably just do it from here. Okay. So I'm going to strip. My overguard's going to go down, but it's not going to refresh like the blue shields. The amount that we get back is four-fifths of the armor that's left on the guy before the armor strip. Or just the strip from the, uh, from the ability, not from corrosive or heat. So 630. Uh, so 2630 to 2635. So the guy had like six or seven armor and um, corrosive and heat was able to bring that down till it was below, I guess, like 0.5, right? So it rounds down to zero and you can get rid of armor. So it, it's a mechanic that's not supposed to be in the game. I figured y'all would at least find that interesting, even though this is a build really out of the way. So for testing, take a look at the build. Um, this seems... I don't think it's really worthy of a slot. This is an oddly expensive build to use as like a testing tool, right? Um, but yeah, here it is. Uh, if you want to try to tweak it, um, the Strength Arcane is probably a good place to start. Um, and you could trim off uh, five Strength off a of Power Drift and get rid of Transient Fortitude. And that would um, open this build up pretty nicely. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys appreciate it. This was a little bit of effort. It was just standard spending the night in the simulacrum. So, I hope this is helpful. It's interesting that it's still in the game. So, the answer, if you wanted to know what's the highest level strip, um, this is like 99.975 or something like that. So, anyway, take it easy. Later, dudes.